Hello everyone, welcome again on Devish Tag. So in the last video, we configured the email and password sign in method on our to do app. But in this video, we are going to work on the Google sign in. Okay, so please make sure that you watch the first video where we connected our Firebase to this Flutter app. So please watch the first video, then only you can continue with this video. Okay, so to start the Google sign in, first we have to go on a Firebase console. Okay, so in a Firebase console, if you see that we have the option of the sign in method under the authentication tab. So go over there. So in the third video, we enable the email and password sign in method. But in this video, we have to enable the Google sign in method. So let me enable it. So here, after enabling it, you will ask a support email. So put your support email here, then after it, save. After saving it, the second step will be add the Saha key. So how you will get the Saha key? Okay, so let me just turn here. We have to add the Saha key. So here we have option of the project setting. Go on a project setting and here on your Android app, you have the option to add the Saha key. So first you have to generate the Saha key for your app and how you will get the Saha key. So let's do that step also. Let me go on a VS code. So inside the VS code, what I'm going to do that inside the Android folder, you have the option of the Gradle EW. Okay, so open this Gradle EW using the terminal. And what you have to do that after it, we have a command to generate the Sahaki, I mean to get the Sahaki. So this command you will get on a description. So run this command on the Android folder. Okay, so if I will run it, then you will get the report of your Sahaki. So it will take some time and you will get your Sahaki. So it is taking some time. Let us pause the video till that. So it is generated your Sahaki. So here we have the Sahaki. I am not showing the Sahaki because it is very confidential. So use this Saha1 key and uh, paste it here. So add the fingerprint and here we have to paste the Sahaki and save it. So that is the second step you have to follow. First enable the Google sign in method and second you have to add the Saha key. So now let me go on authentication page. In the authentication page, we only have one email which is created using the email and password sign in method. Now we are going to sign in with help of the Google. So for your simplicity, I already added the code in the Flutter Firebase to do app repository. You can take reference here for any difficulty. Okay. And uh, please don't forget to subscribe this channel and also like and share the video. Okay. So let's start the coding for our Google sign in method. To use the Google sign in, we have another package called Google sign in package. We have to use this package. So use this package and go on the VS code pubspec.yaml file and here use the Google sign in pub package and hit the control S. It will install the Google sign in package and we can use it. After doing that, what we have to do that inside the leaf folder, I'm going to create a new folder called service. And inside the service folder, I'm going to create a new file called hot service. Here we are going to write the code of the authentication related thing. Okay, I'm going to create a new class called auth class. And in the auth class, first we have to import the Google sign in. Okay, so here in the code snippet, you will get that how you can import the Google sign in package. So I'm going to use this thing. And the second step will be initialize this Google sign in package. 
okay so that was the second step so we have initialized the google sign in package here now i'm going to create a new method that will read white okay and the name will be google sign in and here we are going to write the code of the google sign in related thing so it will be as a sync method so let me use the try and catch a block first so the try block and here we are going to use the catch a block and let's write the google sign in code so we are going to use the google sign in account oh google sign in account and uh, in this variable i'm going to store the detail of the google sign in and uh, with help of this google sign in variable or the object we are going to use the sign in and obviously it will be a sync in await type that's why we have to add the await over here so what it will basically do that it will open the pop up and in the pop up you will get a multiple option of your gmails and you have to select one of the gmails which you wanted to sign in okay and that detail will be stored on the google sign in account so if everything will go fine then i'm going to write a if condition so if everything will go fine then it will be not null okay we will get the detail of your gmail thing here and if it not go everything fine then we are going to write the else condition and we will going to show a snack bar but that code i will write later let me first write the google sign in part okay so now we got the account detail now we need a access token and the id token for getting the credential of the google sign in okay so why i will need it i will let you know but let me first use the google sign in authentication and google sign in authentication variable i'm going to create it and with help of this google sign in account detail i'm going to use the await again we have the option of the authentication it will give you the authentication detail like the access token and the id token that will be needed why we need it because basically we need a credential so that thing will be clarified just wait so i had to use the odd credential okay that comes with the firebase odd package so here i need the credential detail and uh, I have to use the Google Auth provider, not this one. Google Auth provided credential, and here I have to pass the two thing. The first thing is the ID token, and I will get the ID token with help of this Google Sign In Authentication dot ID token, and the second thing I will need is the access token. that also i will need i mean i will get using this thing using the access token okay now we got the credential of the user like this will open a pop up and it will get the detail of your google sign in and with help of this authentication variable we will get the access token and the id token and that will give you the credential of the google sign in i mean your gmail okay this credential is needed why we have to do the authentication with the firebase and we have to use this credential while authenticate thing with the firebase okay so basically i have to use the firebase again i'm going to use the user credential thing like in the last video we used the user credential variable and uh, i'm going to sign in with the firebase again with help of the credential okay for that first i have to create a firebase auth instance firebase auth dot instance in the last video what we did that with help of this auth 
we signed off with the Firebase using the email and password. But we are going to use this auth package to sign in with the credential. Sign in with the credential here. And here we have to pass the credential which we get here. Now everything will be kind of uh, sorted out maybe. But let me explain that why I'm doing this. Like with help of this, you will get the detail of the Google sign in. And uh, this thing will give you the Gmail credential. And this credential will be used to sign in with the Firebase. So in a Firebase, we enable the Google sign in. And with help of this credential only, that thing will be achieved. That's why we did it. Okay. Now, let me wrap this thing again on a try and catch a block. Okay. So let me wrap this thing on a try and a catch. -a. So anything we will get that will be sorted out. Okay. Now, now let's use this odd service thing on our sign in and sign up pages. So let me use it on a sign up page first, then you will easily do it on a sign in page. So here we have to use the auth class. I'm going to create an instance of the auth class. Auth class. So it will create an object of the auth class. And we have to use this auth class object. And here we have the button item. Here we have the button item. So let me go on a button item first. Instead of the container, let me wrap this button item to inkwell widget. And in the inkwell, we are going to use the on tab. And let's get the function as the parameter, which will be a on tab. So here I added a third parameter that is a function type. Okay, we have to pass this function here. So right now we are not working on a phone authentication. So let me just part the empty function. But here we have to pass the async and await type. And here we have to use this auth class. Okay. And in the auth class, we have the method of the Google sign in. We have to use that method. And also we have to pass one thing. We have to pass the context because we wanted to show the snack bar and here we need the context. Okay. So let me get a build context because that is another page and we need the context of that page to show the snack bar on that page. So I'm going to pass the context over here and hit the save. And I have to hit the save here also because that context we are getting as a parameter. Now everything is sorted out. So let me go on a sign up page again and let me copy one code. That is the navigator push remove until because after the sign in, I had to go on a home page. And for that, we need a material dot dot package. Also, like material dot dot package and the home page package, those two things is imported over here. The home page and the material dot dot because we are using the material page route, all those things that comes with the material dot dot package. And the last thing I have to copy is the snack bar. Let me copy the code of the snack bar as well. Okay. And let me go there. And that is snack bar where we will going to write on the each catchy block here if we will get any kind of issue so we will show that issue as a snack bar here also if we will get any kind of issue i'm going to show that snack bar and the else condition i'm going to write a default snack message that not able to sign in you are happy to change it not able to sign in now everything is fine. So after the Google sign in, 
we will go on the home page okay so let's test it and we have to use this user credential but i'm not using it as of now that user credential part i'm going to cover on our next video that how you can still log in with your app okay and how you will log out with your app okay that video i will cover on a next video but let's test it first that our google sign in is working fine or not so let me click on a google sign in button so if i will click then we are getting a snack bar that google sign in plugin is not found okay that basically happen we have to restart the app again so let me just restart the app again until that i'm pausing the video because i'm restarting the app sometimes the flutter will not get the plugin so we have to restart the app so now the app is restarted let me click on a google sign in again so here you can see that we are getting the option of your gmails so let me select this one the 0698 gmail and uh, it will sign in basically it will have to allow because we are using the debug mode so we have to allow it and after signing in we went on a home page you can see that which means it is working perfectly and now the same thing we have to do on the sign in page okay but that thing we will going to do on a next video because to use a google sign in method again first we need to log out from this app okay so that thing we will going to cover on a next video till that happy coding stay safe and stay home okay see you on a next video